nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, go. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. It's approximately one minute past seven on Sunday, the 22nd of September, 2024. Broadcasting live from Brighton, I'm your host, Matt Taylor. Be a right on in Brighton. I hope everyone's well. I hope everyone is swell. But most importantly, I hope everyone has two legs. There's nothing better in life than two legs, two arms and loads of thumbs. So get your legs, get your arms, get your thumbs ready because we're going to have an hour of wacky zany crazy entertainment. <laughs> okay, that's a lie. It's going to be boring as fuck. But hey, not to worry. What else are we going to do on a Sunday night? <laughs> oh, I've got to tell you what happened last night. Not happened last night, yesterday sometime. May not have been yesterday, actually. May have, could have been the day before. I felt like a right silly Billy. There's me. I'm coming to the end of reading Wizard's Rule. Written by Terry Goodkind. Really good. Really enjoying it. I'm savouring every single page. Well, anyway, I found myself in the library, as you do. As you do. Anyway, I was in the library and I thought to myself, do you know, I'll go and check on the Terry Goodkind section and get ready for book two. So there I was in my head thinking, right, Terry Goodkind, good, good kind. Good kind. Right, let's go and look look for the K's. And I couldn't see it anyway. <laughs> I could not see Terry Good Kind books in the K section. <laughs> oh, how I laughed. It only took it was like 48 hours after the event. Then I, I realized I thought, oh, hang on. I was looking under K for good kind. <laughs> It made me laugh so much. And it's just an indication of what a silly, silly idiot I am. But hey, listen. I've been walking down this road too long. Shadows chasing me, they're always wrong. The whispers, the lies try to pull me down. But I'm still standing, I won't drown. They think they can control my name Twisting the truth, playing their game But I know who I am, I know what's real This heart's too strong, it's made of steel What has it got to do with them? Why do they care where I've been? I just want the freedom to shine Leave their darkness far behind I need my peace, I need my time Let me live, let me climb No more chains, no more fear I want the freedom to shine right here Like they know my soul But they don't see me, they don't know my goal Every step I take, they want me to fall But I'll rise higher, standing tall I've got dreams they can take away I'll break free, come what may The voices fade, the power's gone The light in me is growing strong What has it got to do with them? Why do they care where I've been? I just want the freedom to shine Leave their darkness far behind I need my peace I need my time, let me live, let me climb No more chains, no more fear I want the freedom to shine right here What has it got to do with them? Why do they care where I've been? I just want the freedom to shine Leave their darkness far behind I need my peace, I need my time Let me live, let me climb No more chains, no more fear I want the freedom to shine right here I'm not your victim, I'm not your prey I'm taking back my life today Your lies can hold me, I'm breaking free A brighter future's calling me What has it got to do with them? Why do they care where I've been? I just want the freedom to shine Leave their darkness far behind I need my peace, I need my time Let me live, let me climb No more chains, no more fear I want the freedom to shine right here
rise above, I'll claim my space No more running, I'll embrace The life I fought so hard to find Now I'm free, now I shine Well, you've got to get serious at some times in life And this is the time to get serious No, but being, being serious, ladies and gentlemen Listen, you know, I don't know about you but I got the impression that YouTube was a place in which we can have fun, frolic around, get naked. And I don't mean in the sense of taking our clothes off. No. In fact, I'm sure I've got a caption that illustrates this point perfectly. What I mean by get naked is to do something enjoyable and or relaxing, to let loose and have a good time. This is what we should be doing on YouTube. But I tell you, and I have to tell you, and I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you right now. There's certain people on YouTube that are making it pretty unbearable to have fun. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I will be here for at least an hour. That's my promise to you. It's a promise I intend to keep. It's a promise you can rely on. So settle back, relax, do whatever you need to do. But most importantly, don't be shy. Jump on in and say hi. Be brave and take the plunge onto Matt Taylor TV. See, the beauty of YouTube is that it's a new social media platform. It's got the opportunity. It's got the potential, but most importantly, it's got the possibilities of engagement. And I'm a big fan of taking advantage of the opportunities available to us. And so I offer the first person into the chat a whopping, a staggering, a mind blowing, ground breaking prize of one billion gazillion 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 trillion brownie points sadly brownie points cannot be exchanged for money the brownie points are purely a figment of my imagination <laughs> got to have a laugh we've got to have a laugh but something i want to talk about tonight and i'm being serious is about certain individuals on YouTube are just mean, man. They just really are mean. And I do suppose a more appropriate word to use in reference to these type of people is bullies. Yes, there are bullies on YouTube who have undoubtedly driven Good people off the platform. Good people who all they wanted to do was have fun. And is that such a bad thing? Is it wrong to have fun on YouTube? And it got to ask the question, what are we going to do about it? Mouse is a bully hiding in the dark. Pushes people till they break apart One by one they've left the scene Tired of the games, tired of being seen But we're still standing Won't back down, won't let this bully run the town Enough's enough, we've heard the call It's time to rise, it's time to stand tall What are we gonna do about it? We won't let them win, we won't quit Together we're strong, together we'll fight We'll shine our truth in the darkest night What are we gonna do about it? We'll stand up tall, we won't submit, no more running, no more fear, we're here to say, let's make it clear. Words like daggers, but we're not weak, we found our voice, we're here to speak. They push and poke, but we won't fall, we'll rise together, we'll break that wall. For every friend who left the fight, we'll carry their flame, we'll be the light. No more silence, no more lies, it's time for truth to cut through the skies. What are we gonna do about it? We won't let them win, we won't quit, together we're strong, together we'll fight, we'll shine our truth in the darkest night. What are we gonna do about it? We'll stand up tall, we won't submit, no more running, no more fear, we're here to say, let's make it clear. What are we gonna do about it? 
Oi, oi, Lenny. Lenny, the bravest of the brave. Oh, thank you ever so much, Lenny, for coming in. Honestly, mate, Matt Taylor TV would be nothing, would be nothing without Lenny. Lenny's in the house. I'd just like to make it clear. Lenny is a valued member of the audience and certainly not what other people call him. No, I'm only having a joke. Lenny, great to see you, buddy. I hope life is treating you well. Lenny is the lucky, lucky, lucky recipient of a million, gazillion, 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 trillion brownie points. Well done, Lenny. Lenny, even. <laughs> Don't spend them all at once. But sadly, you cannot exchange them for sterling. But you can change them for... Um, well, I really have no idea. It's just a figment of my imagination, Lenny. But listen, great to have you in the chat. I love Lenny. Lenny's been a regular member of the audience. And what I love about Lenny is that Lenny takes advantage of the opportunities available to him. Of course, you won't find Lenny on a dating site. You know, I don't know what I can do to convince him that's the right thing to do. But Lenny will not be found on a dating site. That's cool. I respect that. I respect it. But what I do respect about Lenny is that he's got the balls to engage. Lenny is a, an awesome member of the audience and he's a He's a great, um, he's a great contributor. You'll find Lenny on lots of different channels. And um, a warm welcome to you, Lenny. Thanks ever so much. I hope your Sunday's well. And I hope your plans for the week ahead are just as good. So what I'm going to do now is just get some background, some background music going some down tempo because what we want to do here is create the mood create the mood for dancing romancing da, 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 da. I'm in the mood for dancing romancing da, 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 da. I'm in the mood for dancing Romancing. So what's the um what's the song for that? I'm in the mood for dancing. Um in the mood for dancing. By the Nolons. By the Nolan sisters, I do believe. I'm in the mood for dancing. Romancing. Ba da 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 Let's the well, here we're gonna go. Oh, I've got to, I've got to accept. Good, good. So the next time I feel in the mood to sing a bit of it, at least I've got the lyrics. Ooh, ooh, yeah, yeah. I'm in the mood for dancing, romancing. Ooh, I'm giving it all tonight. I'm in the mood for chancing. I feel like dancing. Oh, so come on and hold me tight. Dancing, dancing. 
and sing. I'm in the mood, babe. So let's the music play. Oh, I'm dancing. Dancing. I'm in the groove, babe. So get on up and let your body sway. Body sway. I'm in the mood for dancing. Romancing. You know I shan't ever stop tonight. I'm in the mood for dancing. I feel like dancing all from head to my toes. Take me again and heaven who knows just where it will end. So dance. Yeah, let's dance. Come on and dance. Dance. Yeah, let's dance. Come on and dance. Wow, that is just full if I may say so myself, that is just full of sexual innuendo. I didn't realise the Nolons were such, um, what's the word? What's the word? What's the word? Somebody kick me. So I'll stop saying what's the word. I didn't know the Nolon sisters were such, um, I really don't know what the word is. Um, over to Lenny. Then he says, hey, Matt, what's going on, Matt? Matt, you're showing your age, son. What was the Nolan every bloke wanted? More innocent times indeed. I tell you, they were up for it, mate. They were up for it. God, the Nolan sisters, eh? Nolan sisters. A gorgeous bunch. So there was um, Bernie, there was Colleen, there was Linda, there was Maureen, Denise, and Anne. And I'm sure everyone had their favourites. Teasers, yes, that's the word. That's the word. That's the word of the day. Lenny is on the ball. I didn't know the Nolan sisters were such a bunch of teasers. Yes, that song was absolutely dripping. And I say dripping with sexual innuendo. I didn't realise it was so, you know, that was pretty much saying, come on and fuck me. Take me, fuck me and fuck me again. There was a no me nonsense. There was a no me too nonsense back then, son. Yes. Yes, old man. Yes, old man. So, listen, I'm totally off my trail of thought there. Talking about the Nolan sisters. Teasers with free vowels, Carol. Yes. Oh, God. I was just... When Lenny just mentioned Carol, oh, <laughs> all of a sudden my, my mind just went back to watching Countdown and thinking, damn, Carol Vorderman. Why? I'm in the mood for dancing, romancing. Oh, I'm giving it all tonight. I'm in the mood for dancing. I feel like dancing. Oh, so come on and hold me tight. Yeah, man. Bunch of bunch of tweezers, I like to say. They're a bunch of tweezers, mate. Suits you, sir. Yes. Oh, God. Boy. Back then, you could have a fag and a beer on TV. I know. Wasn't it amazing? You used to see the, um, the chat shows. You know, Bully, Bullseye. I'm sure they used to have a beer and a cigarette on Bullseye. And on the snooker. John Higgins having a beer, whiskey chaser, and a cigarette, playing snooker. And I'm sure on Terry Wogan, you know, Oliver Reed comes in with a tumbler of whiskey and a cigarette. Back when Granada was putting on real northerners, says Lenny. Those were the days. Hey, listen, I don't know about Lenny, but, um, you know, we're middle-aged now. I did not realise I would make it. Um, the daughter is doing well in uni. I got a message from her Friday. She's finding it a bit weird. I need to elaborate. I'll 
need to get her to elaborate on what weird means. But she's missing home, the darling. Yeah, she's missing home. And of course, it's the first time she's been away. And um, so she's looking forward to coming back at Christmas. But she feels very proud of herself to um, to make that leap into independence. And of course, I'm very proud of Lizzie for making that leap into independence too. So I'd just like to take this opportunity to um, do a big shout out to all those university beginners, the first years. Well done for making that leap into independence. And I hope your your uni life goes well. Over to Lenny again in the chat. Thank you ever so much, Lenny, for commenting. You know, you everyone is welcome to come in and comment, I'm just saying. The Nolans were sexy. What's wrong with saying that? I know there's nothing wrong with saying that. Is that Lenny? Is it, hey? People are more real. What have we now? Rubbish, I know. Lenny, I cannot agree with you more. Matt, what age do men become alienated in society, in your opinion? That's a really good question. You know, and Lenny is famed for his in-depth searching questions. So I'd like to maybe put that out to the audience. What age do men become alienated in society? Um, I really don't know. You know, maybe the answer is in in your opinion. That age when you become opi opinionated. When When is the average age in which a man becomes opinion, opinionated? It's because once you do become opinionated, once you do become confident in yourself to express your opinion, and then surely that is when you become alienated. So with that in mind, I would say middle-aged. And that goes to women as well. I mean, we had a great example. I'm a member of a, of a local um, free speech union. We meet every month down at the Sussex Pad in Hove. This particular month, um, the Sussex pad was being refurbished. So they, they were meeting up in a pub in Brighton. And to be fair, I just totally forgot about it. And so I wasn't there. But a middle-aged woman had an opinion about the transgender being taught in schools. And of course, well, anyway, the landlady overheard this middle-aged woman expressing her opinion of the transgender being pushed in schools and the landlady got her bouncers to come in and evict, expel the whole group. Luckily, I wasn't there, you know, <laughs> luckily I wasn't there. But this woman in her 50s was actually a school teacher. Matt, is owning too many shoes a sign of something? Again, Lenny with these amazingly in-depth searching questions. And that's what I love about Lenny. I love Lenny for his in-depth searching questions. And maybe again, just like the question of what age do men become alienated in society going out to the audience, I'd like to put this question out to the audience as well. When is owning too many shoes a sign of something? It could be a sign of growing feet but that won't really wash because at some age your feet stop growing no i don't know lenny what is the sign is that a joke i've got too many shoes to be to be fair to be fair and i need to like do a cull of my shoes i need to i need to do a cull i must admit so and for me personally, though, I buy a pair of shoes and I think, oh, they'll, that will sort me out. But then after the second, third time wearing them, they're like, they hurt or they're uncomfortable or they're just a bit too small. And so I've got shoes in my shoe racket that just don't belong there. You know what I mean? Over to Lenny. I've Lenny ever so much. Thank you ever so much for commenting. Do women, do women who put a lot of currency on their looks get more depressed when they start to age? Nobody wants to be a Judy Dench and more a Helen Mirren. 
Absolutely. I was discussing this. I was discussing this with a friend of mine as well. They do put a lot of currency on their looks. And um, I mean, that in a way, that's why I'm so grateful. I'm just a fat, ugly, hairy gorilla. Hey, I don't have to worry about good looks for me. No, no joke. I just own a lot of shoes. I thought maybe I'm weird. Look, Lenny. My only advice is to sign up with a dating agency. Because listen, it's all very well going on lovely holidays. But if you haven't got someone to share those lovely times with, what's the use? Hey, 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 come on. I don't know about you, but I think it's better to have company than no company at all. That's why I'm so grateful to have your company at the moment. But yeah, Lenny, I, I love Lenny's questions. Always in depth, always deep, and always searching. So maybe again, again. Just as we had the first question, what do men, what age do men become alienated in society? Is owning too many shoes a sign of something? Again, a third question out for the audience. Do women who put a lot of currency on their looks get more depressed when they start to age? Nobody wants to be a Judy Dench or more a Helen Mirren. But mind you, talking about Helen Mirren. Wow. Do you remember her in the cat people? I repeat, the cat people. Woo! Talk about sexy. And as Lenny has already said in the comments, there's nothing wrong in being sexy. Women put a great deal of effort in being sexy. Again, another question for the audience. Is going on holiday alone a bit sad? Yes, it is a bit sad. It is a bit sad. And um, But sadly, it's the reality for lots of people. And listen, I always like to give out solutions. And all my solutions are based on my own experience and I personally believe the best solution in finding company in this day and age and going along with my principle of using the opportunities at our fingertips is to join online dating agencies go to POF and the other popular online dating platforms it's brilliant it worked for me and i'm a middle-aged big fat hairy gorilla and i found love and so i really do believe signing up to these agencies brings results matt is a loveless life pretty pointless though no nothing is every is ever pointless it's just some things are better now, we go back to that old poem, Bitter, Betty, Bitter Butter. Betty's Bitter Butter. Things can always be better. Because having things better is better than bitter. So, let me just remind you. Betty Butter brought some butter but she said the butter's bitter if i put it in my batter it will make my batter bitter but a bit of a better butter will make my batter better so she brought some better butter better than the bitter butter and she put it in her batter and her batter was not bitter so twas better betty potter Butter, even. Water bits of better butter. Yes, it's always best. And so, look, nothing's ever pointless. Nothing's ever pointless. 
but things can be better because better is better than bitter as i've said matt you need to get dr raj in for a matter oh wouldn't that be great well i remember i remember the good old days of my youtube um shows where people actually joined me i know those were the good old days those were the good old days when pretty young girls wore miniskirts you don't see miniskirts out there anymore do you would dr raj come on for a chat with convert i'm sure he will i'm sure he will someone's finding it funny and of course the ethos the ethos ethos of matt taylor tv is to entertain and educate lenny says we can't turn off our attraction to someone in my opinion unless they've got pretty bad bo yeah there's nothing worse than sinking like a lavatory is there crikey oh that reminded me a big shout out to Vito. Vito won the um celebrity master chef fantastic great win but it reminds me I was, I was up at my magical imaginary girlfriends and i was watching a bit of master chef right watching a bit of master chef and um this woman made tobacco flavored ice cream can you believe it? Tobacco flavored ice cream. And well, anyway, you can imagine what happened. The person who tasted it said, This tastes like an ashtray. <laughs> and she got voted off. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Let that be a lesson to everyone. Do not, I repeat, do not, and I'll say it for the third time for effect, do not make tobacco flavored ice cream. It's not going to go down well. <laughs> Over to Lenny in the chat. What's a hard no for you, Matt? Bad personal hygiene, burping, farting, smoking. Well, it's easy. It's easy. Bad personal hygiene. You know, burping is a sign of an enjoyable meal. Farting is a bodily function that sometimes you just got to let it out. And smoking, well, smoking is an addiction. And you can't, well, you can I don't like to use the word can't, but I won't begrudge anyone for their ad addictions. But there's no excuse for bad personal hygiene. Get it? Clean your mitts, wipe your bottom and wash your hands. You know what I mean? Burping is a sign of a nice, of a good meal. It's a, it's a sign of appreciation in the land of persia farting is a bodily function let it out mate otherwise you'll burst and smoking well smoking is an addiction in my opinion and i'll never be great or lambast or criticize or judge anyone for an addiction but bad personal hygiene now that is unforgivable betty sounds like hard work but betty makes a great batter with better butter. Just remember that. Betty brought some butter, but she said the butter's bitter. If I put it in my batter, it will make my batter bitter. With a bit of better butter will make my batter bit better. You know what I mean? So, mini skirts, look over to mini skirts. Mini skirts disappeared <laughs> since. Savile, I think. I know. Hey, that's why I love... Look, I'll just move on. I was going to say something about that's why I love Brighton in the summer. <laughs> you don't need mini skirts in Brighton in the summer. Because we've got loads of bikinis. <laughs> Matt, is freedom of speech dead in Britain? Some awful, dumb debates clogging the discourse in 2024. Just bonkers. Again, Lenny, thank you ever so much for your comments. You know, this kind of engagement will be nothing without brilliant, brilliant members of the audience like yourself, Lenny. And yes, sadly, freedom of speech is dead. And it's a, it's a crime. It's a crime, I tell you. But mind you, I did read something in the... Um, let me just... Let me just um, get it up. So I posted it on my Twitter. 
if any of you want to um, follow me on Twitter, it's at King Arthur the Second Two. So at King Arthur the Second Two, you'll find it. Go and check it out. Check it out. And what I like to think is that times are a change, and a bit of common sense is um, is coming in to the, you know, coming back in. Because a report into police involvement in politically contested matters by His Majesty's Chief Inspector Constabulary catalogues a litany of concerns regarding the way officers are assessing, recording and reviewing non-crime hate incidents. Non-crime hate in incidents are abbreviated as NCHIs. Okay, so essentially what it means is that all those time people are ringing up the police and saying, I've been offended. Someone said something that has hurt me. At some point, they were getting acted upon. But what they found was this like increase the police workload exponentially. And finally, there's some common sense coming back into the collective mindset that, listen, we're not going to act upon complaints by members of the public who are calling in and saying, I'm offended. And which is good news. Um, if anyone wants to read that article, I shall put it in the chat. So, yeah, I mean, but sadly, um, freedom of speech is dead in, in, in Britain. But uh, I do like to think that can be turned around, you know, and things can change. Over to Lenny again. Lenny, thanks ever so much. Mohammed Al Fayed is proof. <laughs> Mohammed Al Fathead is proof you can be a billionaire, wrong uns, and be mates with King Charles. Again, this touches perfectly on freedom of speech, Lenny. Because having said that, all of a sudden, I had a nervous reaction. All of a sudden, I became instantly agitated. Instantly agitated about talking about something so controversial as the link between our dear king and certain billionaires. Because freedom of speech is dead in Britain, I don't feel comfortable enough to discuss this isn't it strange and i think that's just proof that freedom of speech is dead in 2024 but having said that it can be turned around smoking is really expensive now it rots your gnashes too i know i know i know between you and me i think i'll just leave that matt is there a difference between shyness and social anxiety yeah there is a difference there is a difference because yeah absolutely there is you know <laughs> listen i'm just going to um i'm just going to play a promotional video i will be back momentarily oh okay i will be back momentarily thanks ever so much everyone for joining it's always great to have your company i will be back in a couple of minutes. Down by the sea where the lights still shine, Matthew's got a vision way ahead of its time. King Arthur's calling in the heart of this town, green dreams rising, no one's backing down. A studio built from the earth and the sun, a new era of moon. Where the work's just begun Recycled walls and energy so clean Bright and stepping into the future's green Bright and 22, 22 Where the future will rise With the ocean and the stars Under endless skies From the shores to the moon Where our dreams will bloom Building right and for tomorrow Where there's always room Got a face 
like you've never seen Lunar adventures in the tourist dream Millions will come from near and far China by our side, reaching for the stars The pier stretches out, built with love and care A gateway to the world connecting everywhere Tunnels to London, ties to the globe Stretches out, built with love and care A gateway to the world connecting everywhere Tunnels to London, ties to the globe Together with China, the vision unfolds Together with China, the vision unfolds The pier stretches out, built with love and care A gateway to the world connecting everywhere Brighton 2222, where the future will rise With the ocean and the stars under endless skies From the shores to the moon, where our dreams will bloom Building Brighton for tomorrow, where there's always room This is the place where culture meets the green A city we breathe, born like you've never seen Sustainability, innovation side by side Brighton's ready, and we're bursting with pride Just grow. Welcome, Katie, and welcome, Justin. Let's do the shout outs because we love a shout out. Shout out to Katie A1000. She is a truth warrior. Shout out to Captain Justice, my mate Jack. Or is it Justin? No one knows his real name. Co-hosting, managing moderator, and a whistleblower. He's not a snitch. Hey, listen. The bravest of the brave. The winner of the gazillion, William, gazillion, wins gazillion, trillion. Brownie points. Shout out to Lenny. A valued member of the audience. And while we're here, let's shout out to those regulars that who haven't poked up and said hi. That could be because they're doing something more interesting shout out to the show sponsor brian and as always shout out to the number one subscriber mandy marlins i hope you're well katie good to see you in the house it's great it's lovely and it's so good that um that you are kind enough to share your company with me over to lenny who says matt where the hell do you get these songs can't you play Matt Castle or something radio friendly? What you on about? This is cutting edge entertainment. This is this is the original music. I promised you. What you on about? Yeah. I honestly I don't know what Matt Cardle. I remember Matt Cardle. Oh, tell me about it, Helen Slater. Oh, 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 oh. Woo. beautiful, beautiful woman, beautiful woman. Yes, indeed. All okay, says Katie. Good, good, good. Let me just do. I just want to do a little um, shout out box. Um, oh no, I don't want, don't want another ticker. What I want is a um, listen to more original, original music made made by suno ai mate i love suno ai 
there was a great um there was a great app i once used it was called ditty ditties ditty maker and i loved it and i've been looking for years for something that would that's just as good as as a ditty maker and hey listen suno ai is the place to be absolutely loving it so what i do basically lenny as you know i, I utilize ai to the max I'm, i make no secret about it i utilize ai to the max so i, I get ai to write all my blogs and once i've done a blog i just go write a, write a song about it this bash bong love it so um where are we over to Lenny. Oh, no, this is over to Justin. Lenny, I backed double chance. You get Arsenal draw covered. Nice, nice, nice. Um, of course, we don't condone gambling. But again, I will never judge anyone's addiction. And this is a, a question. I know Lenny's been throwing out the questions for the audience all night long. Uh, is gambling an addiction? What do you think? Answer in the chat. I'll, just as I see Sambo in the chat, I'd just like to a big shout out. We've hit double figures. Thank you ever so much, everyone, for joining. It only took me, only took us, it's the plural, it only took us 50 minutes. So over to Lenny before we say hi to Sam. Matt, any plans for Halloween? You could contact Bruce Forsyth on a Ouija board. Wow. Higher, higher, lower. What a great idea. I'm just going to skip Lenny for a moment to a big shout out to Sambo. Where's the link to join this riveting show? You really want to come in? Really? Really? Who are you, Sam? I'd love to. Um, I'd love for you to come in. Yes, Convert. Smart play, but short enough odds, I'll say. Gambling can get you in trouble with the police. Really? Yes, it can. Oh, we have. Back to Lenny, who says, This Mohammed Al Fathead was above the law. Will Harrods change their name? It's going to be associated with abusing women. I'm sure it won't. I'm sure it won't. I'm, you know, Harrods is under new ownership now. I don't think Harrods will necessarily be linked with um with abuse. But Al Fired, Al Fathead, as um as Lenny so eloquently has labelled Mohammed Al Fathead. That that surname Al Fathead will definitely be linked. Oh, oh well, I'm look Sam Bo. <laughs> An addiction is an addiction, you know. So Sam Bo is very critical. We, we've got a very we've got a very judgmental. Um, we've got a very judgmental person in the chat. Sam Bo. And now, of course, I've got a, I've got a dilemma. I've got a dilemma to give Sam Bo a platform on Matt Taylor TV to come in and say what he wants to say. And um, again, going back to a previous comment by from Lenny, who asks, who asks whether freedom of speech is dead in 2024. It was a no-brainer for me. Freedom of speech is definitely dead. It's so dead, in fact. I am reluctant to um, invite Sam Bo, Sam Bo onto the chat. In fact, I'm glad Sam Bo does bring up this subject of, um, of being critical about other people because that's what we do find on this platform while i believe i believe youtube should be a platform in which people can have fun there are certain people who feel that youtube should be a platform in which other people are lambasted and criticised and held accountable for events previously. 
Sam says, just an observation. Yes, you know, we, we all observe stuff in life. We all observe stuff in life. But, you know, is YouTube the appropriate place to voice those observations? You know what I mean? We, you know, we were having a we we're having a jolly time. We we're having fun. We were getting naked. But not in the sense of taking our clothes off. No. <laughs> I meant in the sense of doing something enjoyable and or relaxing. We were letting loose, having a good time. But then when people come in and make observations, is it conclusive to having a good time? You know what I mean? This is a banter zone. This is a banter zone. I'm not David Dimbleby, man. Pass the joint around, man. And I'm <laughs> a bit controversial, but I'm all for a bit of rimming. <laughs> I didn't say that out loud. I don't know what Sam is talking about. It's just an observation. Oh, gosh. Hey, listen. You know, it makes... Uh, I honestly, if, you, if you're going to talk about thieving, and I know this is pushing the boundaries of freedom of speech, but I say let's bloody lambast and hold the politicians to account for the amount of money they're stealing from the public purse. It honestly, it disgusts me. And I'm not deflecting in any way. But we can always concentrate on certain people in the chat room. You can always make your observations. You can always make it personal. But what is actually happening on the ground is that we are bickering amongst ourselves. And the real thieves are getting away with mass larceny. And so I'm going to say it as it is because this is part of the subject I wanted to talk about today. I wanted to talk about YouTube bullying. Okay. And I do feel as if this Sam Bow character, who, you know, quite frankly, we don't know who Sam Bow is. It's new to our little, um, you know, new to our mix. We don't know who Sam Bow is. He's come in all of a sudden making observations, pushing his luck, you know, pushing around, pushing the old chess pieces around the board. Knocking the prawns over. <laughs> that was a mispronunciation. You know what I meant. But he was knocking, not going around, knocking all the pawns over. No, not pawns, prawns. Stop knocking the prawns, will you? <laughs> you should get help. You should get help. It's only an observation. Only an observation. I'm only making an observation. But hey, listen, I, in my humble opinion, YouTube has turned into a platform in which the bullies rule supreme. You know, they feel as if they can come in and push their weight around. And it's, it actually makes me laugh because the people who come in push and shove and like arm on the bee's knees are the ones who are hiding behind sock puppet accounts are the ones who don't reveal their real name samuel bowerman is the full name of samuel bowerman is the full name of so look sam do you want to come on and have a chat let's answer one simple question Answer me one simple question and I will give out the link. Please tell me the day and place of the birth of our nation's greatest ever king, King Arthur II. There you go. All you need to do is answer me a simple two-pronged question. The date and place of our nation's greatest ever king, King Arthur II. So, while we are in the process 
of inviting a member of the audience onto the panel, I would like to make it perfectly clear that Matt Taylor TV has some ground rules. Number one, certain names cannot be mentioned. Number two, certain topics cannot be mentioned. And number three, act with maturity. Let the mayhem commence, ladies and gentlemen. We are entering the second hour. We're in double figures. Anything can happen. No, that's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. And you can't even spell his name. But that's quite concerning that <laughs> that you know his bloody birthday. So you've got the answer wrong, I'm afraid. I'm not particularly afraid. But listen, you've got the answer wrong. So um, while I would love, while I would absolutely love to have you on, you're not coming on. <laughs> you're just not coming on. So anyway, I'd like to play you this promotional song. It's the YouTube Jungle. <laughs> To the YouTube jungle Where the funds are full swing And the words my punk goes wild And it's crazy A digital spree So hold on tight And just let it be Creators clapping day and night Game and cook and show them right From makeup tips to DIY Find your niche and don't be shy Join the chatter, join the fun Every click's a chance Digital screen. And, um, you know, part of tonight's subject was going to discuss the mouse and how, you know, the, the mouse bullies people off YouTube. And so it's very telling the conversation in the chat between A1000 and Justin. Not nice to hear her in such distress. And, hey, listen, it made me think, you know, who needs friends when you've got enemies like Vinny, hey? And I find it quite insulting to the audience 
the gaslighting that goes on on YouTube is, um, you know, is, is, is quite, is, 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 is quite despicable. Hey, listen, Sam, you know, I don't, I don't concern myself with people and their children, but then you go straight on to asking about Kaylee. And this really does illustrate exactly what I wanted to talk about tonight and on a very serious subject. We seem to think that YouTube is the appropriate place to wash and or rather to air everyone's dirty laundry. I personally don't think YouTube is the place to air people's dirty laundry. It should be a place of fun, of banter, of entertainment. And it is, in my opinion, so disappointing that we have individuals such as Vinny, Vinny the Gaslighter, is maybe a, a new title for Vinny, who goes out there and not only gaslights his audience, but uses his platform to air other people's dirty laundry. So listen, if you're going to lambast one person for something, you don't then go ahead and do that very thing, what you're lambasting another person for doing. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Lenny. Thank you. I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm, you know, I'm glad I'm, I'm touching. I'm glad I'm hitting bases. My comment is factual. Well, look, you know. Oh, what well, wasn't Justin's? Hey, listen, you know, I'm all for open debate. And all you just had to get one simple question correct. Our nation's greatest ever king. King Arthur the second. I told you who it was. And you come in and he mentioned John Manoa, spelt wrong. Doc's in his birthday. Over to Katie, who says the tactics used outside of YouTube to control is horrendous. I agree. I've heard some some of the things you've done. Hey, listen, you know, again, what's happening with this Sam Bow character is coming on and moving the mood away from joviality, banter, and entertainment to a more serious tone. And to be fair, to be fair, to be fair, that was always the intention of tonight's show. It was to discuss the behaviour of individuals such as Vinny, who use an otherwise entertainment platform as a space to bully. And Katie A1000 herself has been at the receiving end of the bullying techniques of Vinny, Vinny Mouse. And is it interesting, and of course logical, that these bullies must, and I repeat this, they must conceal their identity. Because if ever their identity was revealed, then they'll be accountable for their actions and their conduct online. And that's exactly why remaining anonymous is so integral to a, bill to a bully's modus operandi. Because quite frankly, they couldn't carry on doing what they do without maintaining the air of, an of being anonymous. Over to Lenny, who says, um, Matt, I watched Zulu last night for the first time. For the first time. I repeat, for the first time. Wonderful. 1964. Michael Caine is beautifully shot. The Battle of Rourke Drift in 1879. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing, Lenny. I, I watched a particularly, um, particularly violent and suspenseful and horrific movie on Pluto last night. Um, absolutely amazing. I've forgotten the, the the name of it, and I've forgotten the um, the leading actress. 
but she was quite a famous leading actress. Basically, they went out in this floating hotel, floating house out in Vietnam. There was a storm, and then they woke up in the morning with their floating house in the middle of the ocean with a killer shark. It was absolutely brilliant. Over to Sam, who says, I've heard your own voice doing things outside YouTube. Another fact. Hey, listen. Oh, Sam. Sam, Sam, Sam. I'll, I'll, I'll play a song. I'll, I'll play a song that sums up what I'm trying to say. But essentially, what I'm trying to say is, what is it of your business? What is it of your business? Of what anyone else does? You know, quite frankly, what's it got to do with you? Was he always talking about my life? Every step I take, he cuts like a knife. Like he's waiting in the shadows, watching me fall. But what has he got to do with him at all? He claims he's out here for the truth. But he's twisting words and chasing my youth. All this focus, it's getting insane. Why is he wrapped up in my world and my name? What has it got to do with him? Why is he so deep in everything I'm in? I'm just living, trying to make my way But he's obsessed with every move I play What has it got to do with him? Why is he so invested in the life I live? While he's caught in his tangled web of sin What has it got to do with him? He's acting like he's got a role to play But it's my story, I didn't cast him today He's building lies on shifting sand Like he's the one who's holding all the plans But all this focus, it ain't adding up What does he gain from dragging me down to the mud? Is it power control or envy he feeds? Or just projection of his own dark deeds? What has it got to do with him? Why's he so deep in everything I'm in? I'm just living, trying to make my way But he's obsessed with every move I play What has it got to do with him? Why is he so invested in the life I live? While he's caught in his tangled web of sin What has it got to do with him? Maybe it's time he took a step back Found a mirror and faced the cracks Cause all his words, they speak much more About his life than mine for sure What has it got to do with him? Why is he so deep in everything I'm in? I'm just living, trying to make my way But he's obsessed with every move I play What has it got to do with him? Why is he so invested in the life I live? While he's caught in his tangled web of sin What has it got to do with him? Yeah, what has it got to do with him? What has it got to do with him? No, Lenny, I was making the point, you know, what's it got to do with anyone? You know, what's it got to do with anyone? About anyone's business with anyone else? This, this Sam Bow coming in, you know, mouthing off, saying, oh, blah, 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 blah. what's it got to do with you, Sam Bow? But I'll, I'll tell you in a brief version of my homosexual experience. Oh, shut up with you and your facts. So what's it got to do with you? <laughs> What's it got to do with you? Don't make me play the song again. I'll lose Lenny if I did. No, but um, oh, my homosexual experience. I'll, I won't, you know, an abbreved... Thank you. Thank, thank you, Katie. An abbreved, abridged version of my homosexual experience in Hong Kong. After one particularly um, drunk night, I found myself in bed with a lady boy as you do. Anyway, you know, I crashed out. We both slept. But in the morning, 
you, you know, when you wake up after a smashing night out where you got totally pissed and you don't remember anything, you know, <laughs> and you wake up and you think, oh, fuck, and you look over and there's some good looking bird in the bed next to you. You think, oh, fucking you know, what's going on here? <laughs> I'll have a bit of a snog, you know. So anyway, I had a snog. And I remember this gorgeous girl was on top of me and I was having a little mess, mess around with, I was having a little grope of the boobies. This is an adult show, by the way. So um, no need to contact Sussex Police. I had a bit of a grope with the boobies. But anyway, it slowly, all the memories of the last night came back. And I was like, oh my God, this isn't a girl. It's a lady man. I thought, oh my God. So essentially, I just asked um, the lady man to go, and that's pretty much it, really. That's that's the abridged version. That's the abridged version. I hope that um, entertained you. Hey, listen. Um, so look, do you, Sam Bo, do you want to tell us a bit about yourself? It seems like I get the impression you know a lot about us, but we know jack shit about you. And if you want to catch more original music made by your good self, Matthew Taylor, your host, broadcasting live from Brighton, made by Suno AI, check out suno.com forward slash at Matt Taylor TV Jukebox. You'll find plenty of original music that will keep you entertained. Over to the chat. The story has changed. Yes, it has a bit, hasn't it, Sam? It has a bit. That's that was the abridged version. That was the abridged version. Matt, <laughs> Matt, you you're tuning into Bravo TV with this lady boy crap. Yes, I am, aren't I? <laughs> um, what I was going to say, you can download free of charge. I hasten to add, you can download free of charge Taylor Tales. Um, a collection of 20 true life stories free of charge from lulu.com so I recommend if anyone wants to wants to read the um, the full version of my homosexual experience in Hong Kong as I say in the book what happens in Hong Kong stays in Hong Kong but if you are interested in reading the full version of my homosexual experience please feel free to go over to lulu.com, that's lulu.com, search for Taylor Tales, a collection of 20 true life stories, and you'll be able to download it for free. So, you know, if you're that interested, that's what you need to do. Thanks ever so much for Sam for, um, for uh, bringing the subject up. Matt, remember when people thought Jason Donovan was gay. I know. I know. Uh, it is another sto funny story for you. Um, when I met the mother of my children, she thought I was gay. <laughs> I just come across as a bit gay, you know. And of course, there's nothing wrong with being gay. You know, I'm, I'm not. You, you cannot label me with homophobic. No way. You can't label me with being homophobic. Oh, Abby's on the line. Shall we? Shall we? I am live at the moment, Abby. Um, live at the moment. Live at the mo. Um, shall I call you? Shall I call you? So there is. I don't think um, Abby will come on, but you know, it's always nice to say hi to your nearest and dearest. And talking about your nearest and dearest, be sure if you only if you're enjoying it. I'm not going to pressure you otherwise, but if you are enjoying the content, please feel free to share with your nearest and dearest. And what I mean by nearest and dearest is your granny, your granddad, your aunts and uncles. How's it going, says Abby? Okay. I'll, I'll say okay, because I'm in the middle of, I'm in the middle of fucking talking, Abby. <laughs> but I do love my, my niece, Abby. Um, is Kelly Grady still sectioned, or is she out now? You know, from far as I know. Oh, thank you ever so much. Um, thank you ever so much, Katie. Evening to Abby. Yes, Abby's in the house. 
Abby's in the house. Um, no, don't want to talk. No, don't want to talk. It's not you. Uh, thanks, Abby. I know Abby's very depressed at the moment, everyone. So um, I'll just give her some. That's okay, Abs. I'm just going to write that. That's so. That's okay, Abs. Um, catch you soon. Love always. You got to spread the love, and um, everyone enjoys. A Appreciates a bit of love. So over to oh, how many viewers you got? Uh 111. 111. Okay, a bit of a exaggeration exaggeration, but listen, <laughs> I'm hearing P. Diddy is gay now. I remember he was dating Jennifer Lopez years ago. J Lo has a beard. Oh god, crikey. It sounds like Lenny is in the know. Lenny's in the know, isn't he, eh? <laughs> Okay, I, I better tell Abby I was lying. Only, only 11. But hey, at least it's double figures. Oh, yeah, and that's something I want to touch upon. About the infantile, the absolute infantile behaviour. I mean, we, we shouldn't be worrying about what other people are doing. You know what I mean? Oh, that's okay. Is that the most you had? Fucking hell, Abby, in the middle of fucking talking. Yes, Ab, yes. That's the breaking records, Abby. Fucking breaking records. Breaking records, Abs. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> I can't get me strength. I'm not a woman, you know. I can't, um, what is that word? Do things, do more than two things at the same time. I know the feeling, Abby. Why do you, <laughs> why do you think on, on Matt Taylor TV? Why do you think I'm on Matt Taylor TV? Yes. More will come out, says Katie, about P. Diddy, no doubt. Um, so where was I? Yeah, before we touch on P. Diddy, because P. Diddy, you know, obviously is being viewed as... Um, oh, here we go. Let me just talk to Abby. Fuck's sake. Yeah, you still not drinking? Fucking hell, Abby. I'm in the middle of a show and I'm having a conversation with my audience. But now I'll have a fucking conversation with you two. Okay, um, God, I'm losing it. I'm absolutely losing it. Are you still drinking? No. Um, um, I'm live at the Mo and can't talk. Catch you again soon. Catch you. No, I can't say that. I'm live at the Mo. I don't want to say anything bad. Um, okay, okay. I can't multitask. Honestly, I, I, I haven't got the brain cells to have two conversations with two people at the same time. So, you know, I do apologise, Ab. But am I still drinking? No, I'm not. I'm drinking lemon and ginger herbal tea at the moment. Yeah, so, of course, touching on P. Diddy. Katie's predicting JC soon. And of course, a lot of commentators are, are comparing, a lot of commentators are comparing P. Diddy to Jeffrey Epstein. Big shout out to Brian in the house. It's called multitasking. Yeah, I'm useless at bloody multitasking. Honestly, I am. And anyway, me having a body drop then has, has lost figures. We're no longer in the double figures, I'm afraid. <laughs> Don't be afraid. Get creative, as a lovely person says. P. Diddy is worse than out than Mohammed El Fathead and Savile. Oh, really? Could anyone be worse than Savile? But was it was it Piddy P. Diddy, or was it R. Kelly who was seen pulling his girlfriend by the hair through the hotel lobby? I think it may be P. Diddy. But correct me if I'm wrong. Wasn't that an absolute horrific thing to see? But then again, in the grand scheme of things, that's actually quite tame. Considering what they do behind closed doors. But yeah, I mean, it's just... And these are the people, you know, these are the, the modern day heroes. 
that people look up to when really in fact that was puff diddy was it in fact these are the most horrendous people out there committing the most high in hideous and horrendous crimes possible brian says i can watch you and eat a huge family size chocolate trifle multitasking but can you have two conversations at once can you go live talking to an audience while at the same time having a conversation on text with your niece that's the question i tell you i sadly and am incapable of doing so we all have flaws and i like to show my flaws live on youtube in real time what's the use of hiding away your flaws what's the use of hiding away your shortcomings what's the use of hiding away those bad characteristics you like to hide from your loved ones and friends and work colleagues i say no air them live on youtube so everyone can see what kind of person you are warts and all that's what i say over to katie who says they've been in plain sight for years yes just like dj hp eric and yeah, they have, absolutely. And, you know, I do want to carry on this conversation because this conversation will take hours and hours and hours to get through. But this mentality of a crew, let's put it this way, a crew on YouTube who feel as if it's acceptable to go around and essentially bully, bully people bully people off the platform so there's loads of facets to this conversation what is youtube best for what do we want to use youtube for you know if if people want to use it as a platform to lambast to criticize and to hold people to account then i'm sure you've got shows that adhere to that and surface that and provide a platform for people who want to do that. I personally think it's not the place. And I certainly don't want it on on my time. If you want to lambast people, you, they're going to do it anyway. I just feel as if it's crap. And if if ever there's a public vote, you know, what should YouTube be used for? I'd be voting keep YouTube a platform of banter, of fun and entertainment. You know, you can bully, you can stalk and harass people by your own blogs, for example. Or there is, I don't know, I'm, I'm getting tongue-tied. I don't know what, but no one should be stalking, harassing and lambasting everyone. But we live in a society in which people do. I mean, I, I'm certainly getting stalked and harassed by James Hine. I can see James Hine being mentioned in the chat. You know, it, it's just, it's just ridiculous. And Katie herself is being stalked and harassed by Vinny. Vinny Mouse, who we all know is Mouse. And again, this touches upon the fact that the gaslighting, you know, that using their different sock puppet accounts that have conversations with themselves to try and convince the wider audience that they're not who it's obviously that they are. Oh, God. You know what I mean? It's crazy, but it's an everyday occurrence on YouTube. I don't, I'm, and I don't want to put across the fact that I know what the answer is. I don't know what the solution is. All I do know is that if we can keep YouTube entertainment, entertaining, funny, and light and airy, it will do us all a world of good for our mental health. 
But at the moment, YouTube has been used as a platform for bullying, stalking and harassment. And that's no good for anyone's mental health, is it? The bullies are probably jealous that you're so creative and original. Oh, well, that's nice. I mean, but listen, it's not difficult to churn out original entertainment. Let's let's just break the myth there, okay? Churning out original entertainment on YouTube is piss easy. You don't need to play other people's material. But mind you, having said that, there is a space for clipping certain bits for educational reports and purposes. You know, so look, I just want to enter the, the discussion with people. I don't pretend to know everything. I don't pretend to have all the solutions. I'm full of contradictions. Yes, I put my hand up to that. I'm full of contradictions because ultimately this is a new medium. We're all getting our heads around and we're all pushing the boundaries. All I know is what doesn't work from personal experience. Being fun, having banter, keeping it entertainment, entertaining works. It, I feel good. It brings a smile to my face. Bullying, lambasting, stalking and harassing doesn't work. And I know that doesn't work. So it just brings everyone down. So that doesn't work. Yes, Tito and Toto died in the same week. Brian, do you remember the verse in the Bible that talks about arguing over trifles? Always made me smile. That's funny. That's, that's true, folks. Creative and original, talented, gifted. Matt's got skills. Hey, listen, you know, thank you for saying that. But original content is easy. It's easy. The mouse is a predatory stalker of the worst kind. I have to agree. Now, again, that's going to get Katie into a world of trouble, that is. Me flashing that up on the screen is going to get Katie into a world of trouble. Because as touched upon by Lenny, there is no freedom of speech. such a shame it's such a shame we can't just express ourselves and move on in a mature manner it's all very well for Sam Bo to come in and make his observations claim they're factual and walk away unscathed but if we come in and make our observations, put down what we find factual, that's going to be lambasted upon, that's going to be beaten upon, that's going to be used against us. And that just isn't mature. That's a sign of immaturity and infantile behaviour. Let's just wait and see. I prefer the line in Master and Commander. With the lesser of two evils. Now, talking about lesser of two evils, that reminds me of um, the Pope. The Pope's recommended that the Americans should vote for the lesser of two evils. But without actually stating who is the lesser of the two evils between Carmilla Harris and Donald Trump. I, I find that quite interesting. You know, they, uh, for me, this is like the first time Pope Francis has ventured into political and moral discussions. Yeah, you know, one of his most recent controversial reverse revolves around his comments urging Catholics to consider voting for the lesser evil when faced with imperfect political choices. Anyway, I got AI to write a blog about that. Very interesting. So, crikey. 
<laughs> Thank you ever so much, everyone, for coming on. I am going to play a promotional video just so I can get my head together. Um, big shout out to everyone in the chat. Great for you to have it. See you in there. I think the only person we're missing is um, the delightful Mandy. So, this is the Matt Taylor TV Guru. But we're not going to play that. I think we'll play. No, let's let's play. No, let's play. Welcome to our crazy corner of YouTube. It's a classic. Welcome to a crazy corner of YouTube where the trolls come out to play. It's urgent, toxic, nasty, and wicked. You better watch what you say. Some come for laughs, some come for fights. You'll see love, but oh, the hate ignites. Click subscribe, take the ride. You never know what's on the other side. Welcome to a crazy corner of YouTube where the dark and twisted roam. Be careful, friend, don't be like Matt Taylor or you'll end up with a criminal record alone. Drama's brewing, scandals in the making. Every click's a new mistake. Comments flying, tempers rising. It's a risk you're born to take Some seek the fame, some seek the thrill But beware, it's a bitter pill Watch your back, stay on track This wild ride you can't retract Welcome to a crazy corner of YouTube Where the dark and twisted roll Be careful, friend, don't be like Matt Taylor You'll end up with a criminal record alone Thanks ever so much, everyone, for joining me. We will be wrapping it up in the two-hour mark. Thanks ever so much to Katie in the house, to Brian, to Lenny, and to Jack. And, of course, shout out to Sam as well. Don't be shy. Jump on in and say hi. Be brave and take the plunge. But the point I just want to make is that um, I, I feel as if it's, it's good for our mental health to talk about these characters on YouTube who bully us. But I personally cannot, I don't feel comfortable talking about it because we then become victims of even more bullying. But yet, having said that, we have to keep quiet while they lambast us and criticise us in their um, chats. You know, if, if you're going to tr treat people in the manner that you want to be treated, you know, if you treat someone bad expect to be treated bad by that person in return don't have a body drop and that's all the more reason why we should all be treating each other with respect so once we start making that the norm and then when you start treating people with friendship respect 
and the courtesy, you'll have that in return. And it's all about growing up, acting with maturity. Because at the moment, it's non-existent. And I do feel like a lecturing dad who's telling off his children. And that shouldn't be the case. It shouldn't be the case. Hey, listen, I don't know about you, but I'm not doing anything. Okay, I'm, I, don't know. I don't know what you've seen, but I don't see anything. Hey, listen, we're coming up to the last 20 minutes. Um, there's no pressure. I'm a bit nervous. Going back to what Lenny said, freedom of speech is dead in 2024. Freedom of speech is dead. But I, I use the River Thames as a metaphor. And there was at one time in which the River Thames were dead was dead, devoid of life. But once the conditions, the circumstances changed, life came back to the Thames. And I believe that can be applied for freedom of speech in 2024. While it is dead, once the conditions change, freedom of speech will come alive. And I long for that day. I long for that day in which we can talk openly and freely about what's happening in our lives around us. And I'm desperate to talk about the state of YouTube at the moment, but I feel restricted to do so because I'm scared of the bullies. And that's wrong. That is wrong. And maybe one day I'll be brave enough I'll be strong enough to say it as it is. To call out these individuals and say, no, Vinny, no. We know you're the mouse. Stop gaslighting us. No, James Hine, no, you weirdo. You are the stalker. You are the harasser. Stop it. No, you bunch of weirdos. All those weirdos who hide behind fake accounts and keep in the shadows. No, you are not the bastions of the truth. Maybe one day I'll find that braveness inside. But it's not going to be today. Over to Brian, who says, yes, many rivers have recovered from toxins being poured down them. And I think that's a great metaphor for all of us. We can all recover from the toxins being poured down us. Because trust me, there's loads of toxins being poured around this, around here, that's for sure. How many people have described YouTube as toxic? Too many. And it shouldn't be, that's the point. This could be a great platform for us all to have fun, bit of banter, entertainment, bish bash bosh, how's your uncle, how's your auntie? You know, that's, that's what I want it to be. And of course, you know, there are people, there are platforms in which you can have a, a ding dong. There are some, you know, kangaroo court channels over to Katie. I'm needing to come off here now. May you all sleep well. Good night to you. Thank you ever so much, Katie, for coming in. It was a pleasure having your company. Sweet dreams. And I hope you have a lovely night's sleep. Thanks ever so much. Let's quickly do the shout outs while we're saying goodbye to Katie. So that's a good night to the Truth Warrior. We've got our number one subscriber, Mandy Marlin. She's doing something a lot more interesting at the moment than watching Matt Taylor TV. And I don't blame her as well. Shout out to Brian. Brian's in the house. Shout out to Justin. Justin's in the house. And Lenny, the bravest of the brave. He was the first in. So, thanks ever so much, Katie. Sweet dreams. Thank you ever so much for taking the time to join us here at Matt Taylor TV. Your company was greatly appreciated. And I do hope you will come back again soon. Over to Brian who says, see, I blame my keyboard. But it's really not me swapping my keyboard. This is my fault. I'm to blame. 
for that. Not my keyboard's fault, folks. Poor keyboard's worn out. Yes, it. Tech wears out. Tech wears out. So that's that's um. Katie's gone. Katie's gone. Katie, you know, a, a victim of this toxic corner. Some people call it crazy corner of YouTube. Maybe a better description is a toxic corner of YouTube. Um, yeah, but as I was saying, there are YouTube channels in which you can have your kangaroo courts, in which you can um, have your bitches, you can have your slagging matches. You know, they're well-known channels, very popular channels. And so, yeah, there is space for that. But of course, I think it's important to also have space in which it's more mellow. It's more age appropriate. And I like to think I'm creating that with Matt Taylor TV. A space in which we can just come together, have a bit of banter, have a laugh, be entertained without it getting too heavy, man. Because ultimately, life is heavy enough. Why add to the weight of bringing heavy shit onto YouTube? And now, while it's never appropriate to use any online platform as a means to stalk and harass, that's never a good thing to do. There's laws against it. There are ways, and those ways are many and numerous, to express your opinion. If you've got a bug to bear, you can do that in a plethora of different ways and means. YouTube doesn't have to be the one answer to all. Again, I'm getting stuck for words because I don't really understand what's going on. I'm just like everybody else. I'm experiencing it for the first time. All I do know is that I've experienced all the ups and downs of what YouTube can offer. I mean, for goodness sake. I've ended up with a criminal record because of YouTube. In fact, my liberty... And my freedom of speech is being curtailed now, right now, as we speak, because of YouTube. Because of what you, the audience, perceive I am saying. Thankfully, there's common sense coming back into the mix. I've shared a link earlier on. In which police forces are saying, hey, hold on. Just because someone's been offended of what they've heard on YouTube, it doesn't mean you should go in there and destroy this person's life. So, thankfully, there's light at the end of the tunnel. There is common sense prevailing. And that common sense is in which I'm talking about the conditions change for the Thames to come back to life. The conditions are changing in which freedom of speech can come back to life. Because touching upon what Lenny said, big shout out to Lenny. Freedom of speech is dead. But I'm hopeful that conditions are changing in which freedom of speech can come back to life. And we've all got a part to play in changing these conditions. We're all part of a collective. We're all part of a bigger society. We are each a piece of the jigsaw. And we make the bigger picture. And so the change must start with us first, in which the bigger picture changes. When we are bright, the bigger picture is bright. So let's make the bigger picture as bright as possible. Let's let it shine and illuminate the darkness. Let's shine so the world illuminates with happiness, with friendship, and with goodness. Because this is a fight between good and bad. This is a fight between good and evil. 
This is a fight between what's right and what's wrong. Over to the chat. Matt Taylor TV, where adults let it all hang out. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you ever so much. And listen, we will always naturally congregate around people who share our similar values. It's a common thing to do. It's natural. And I'm so glad that we've nurtured that with Matt Taylor TV. The people who have stuck around, we all share the same values. We don't, we know how heavy the world is. We know the world is a fucking shit place at the moment. Touching upon what my niece says, it's the end of the fucking world. And it feels like that. It feels like it's the end of the world. It can be turned around just like the Thames got turned around. And it will get turned around by us turning ourselves around, by us changing the conditions in ourselves so the bigger picture is changed. <laughs> Sorry, I missed all that, Matt. Can you say that again? Just <laughs> That's the banter. That's the banter. You know? And it's good. I got goosebumps because it was so funny. I got one of those smirks on my face now. You know, you know those kind of smirks where they just stay there and it doesn't come off. I'll show you. Can you see the smirk? <laughs> Listen, we're coming up to the last ten minutes, everyone. Thank you ever so much, everyone, for joining me tonight. I was lucky enough because I had the place to myself. And, of course, when i got the place to myself, I can um, let rip, so to say. Um, but fair dues, well, I haven't actually let rip as much as I'd like to let rip. But mind you, I did sing a bit of... I did sing a bit. So, nice flowers. Um, throw out the muck. So, there are. So there you are, folks. Yes. Listen, it's up to us to change the world. And we change the world by changing ourselves. Okay? I know I haven't really expressed myself as much as I'd want to, but the message essentially was, let's all grow up. Let's act with more maturity. Okay? Because what's happening on YouTube at the moment is absolute infantile school yard behaviour, and it's doing no one any good. Okay? Let's take our mental health, let's take our well-being seriously. I just tuned in at eight. Could be repeat that, please. Just joking. <laughs> of course, the beauty of YouTube is that what you can watch this at your leisure. So if anyone missed it, shout out to Mandy, number one subscriber. And again, touching upon Vinny the Bully. Vinny the Bully has driven people off this platform. And it may well be the case in which Mandy has now been driven off this platform because of bullies like Vinny. And shame on anyone who supports these bullies. Because you're not doing yourselves any good and you're not doing the collective any good. Change your conditions, I say. I say, I say, I say, change your conditions. Because no one likes some bitter butter. Because bitter butter makes for a bad batter. And that's not going to make Betty happy. So if there's any message I want you to go away with from watching tonight's Matt Taylor TV, is to keep Betty happy. Let's have a better batter by not using bitter butter, if you know what I mean. <laughs> no, I mean, I totally have forgotten what I was saying anyway essentially it is let's just all grow up hey let's just all act with a bit of more maturity some people need a whole dose a whole bucket load more of maturity but we there's everyone has got room for improvement except brian of course brian's perfect and lenny of course okay Katie's perfect too. Okay, everyone's perfect. I have got room for improvement. 
I know I have at least. Because I fall into the trap of treating people how they want to be treated. People treat me mean, and so I inevitably treat them mean back. And that isn't mature. That's something I have to change. That's a condition I have to change in myself to make the world a better place. Just because someone's mean to you, it doesn't have doesn't mean you have to be mean back. I know it's natural to be mean back. I know it's the easy thing to do to be mean back. And I know it takes maturity. And I know it takes effort and a push outside of your comfort zone to resist the temptation of being mean to the people who are mean to you. But that is something we have to get our heads around. Not you, me. I'm talking about myself here. Because we all have a responsibility to change ourselves for the better in which it can make the, the bigger picture better. Because remember, we all want to shine. Because when it's all shining, we're all basking in the sunshine. Remember, vitamin D is good for you. Listen, everyone, thank you ever so much for tuning in. It's been a great experience. I've certainly enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed it too. If you have got any satisfaction, please like, subscribe and share. I know according to my analytics, or is it pronounced analytics? Or it could be pronounced analytics. Anyway, according to the annals, the analytics, you know what I mean? There's a lot of people who watch the show who aren't subscribed. And that's shocking. So if you one of those viewers who are watching the show but aren't subscribed you know what to do hit the subscribe button if you enjoy the content share with your nearest and dearest share it with your granny your uncle and your everybody else happy thoughts folk thank you ever so much brian if i knew you were coming out of baked a cake baked a cake yes indeed listen i will be playing out with a um with an exit song so we're done with the music like i said if you have enjoyed the music um check you can check out more original music at suno.com forward slash at matt taylor tv jukebox check it out you've been watching matt taylor tv thank you ever so much everyone for coming in Annie Lennox. Yes, we do love a bit of Annie Lennox. Some of them want to use you. Some of them want to be used by you. So some of them use you. Some of them want to be used by you. Lovely song. I love it. Sweet dreams are made of this. Some of them want to use you. Some of them want to get used by you. Some of them want to abuse you. Some of them want to be abused. Sweet dreams are made of this. Who am I to disagree? I travel the world and the seven seas. Everybody's looking for something. Hold your head up. Keep your head up. Moving on. Hold your head up. Moving on. Keep your head up. Moving on. Etc. Etc. What a song. If I knew you would bake a cake, yes, we love a, we love a bit of that as well. If I knew you could bake a cake, Eileen Barton. Listen, everyone, we're coming up to the end of the show. <laughs> oh, stop it. 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 I, I appreciate that there's some people would have liked to have commented, but they cannot comment because of a variety of reasons. Maybe I blocked them. But then again, I think I have unblocked everyone. So that's no excuse. If you feel as if you cannot comment, just let it go. Just let it go. It don't matter. It don't matter. Thanks ever so much, everyone, for watching again. Um, you can follow me on Twitter at King Arthur the Second Two and at Satanic Matt. Remember, a pen is mightier than a sword. If you haven't done so already, check out 
guerrilla democracy news news the mainstream media dare not report and all my blogs have been scrolling across the bottom of the screen we're coming up to the end of the show ladies and gentlemen i cannot thank you enough for sharing your time with me let's do it again soon it's coming up to nine o'clock on sunday the 22nd of september 2024 you have been watching matt taylor tv i'm your host matt taylor be right on in brighton if you haven't visited brighton before please do so it's lovely in the winter and if you have visited brighton before please come again we'll love to see you that's it ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching the show and remember king arthur loves you as much as i love you too